Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a teardown of these two batteries, the HLX 1200 versus the lead time uh, 1280. Uh, we're gonna be digging into the actual components and internal of this battery. So let's get started. Here we have both batteries open and here you're gonna start seeing the main differences between the two batteries. Now that the covers are open, you're gonna see that we do have a larger BMS uh, compared to the lead time battery. The way that we actually secure our cells to the actual enclosure, we use actual metal brackets to um, secure it. Lead time only uses these foam blocks here, uh, which is good, but it's not uh, the build quality that we have. Now we're gonna take apart the BMS and I'm gonna go into details, um, showing you the differences between both BMSs. So here you start seeing the differences between the batteries. Here uh, we have our BMS compared to their BMS. Our BMS allows us to discharge, charge the battery faster, have a higher surge uh, compared to their BMS. Their BMS actually limits them from the actual charge current, discharge current, and especially uh, surge capacities. Construction of the cells you're going to see here. Uh, we use a metal bracket to actually hold our cells down. Uh, to the enclosure, this is a much secure way of actually uh, mounting down the modules. The lead time battery uses foam, which is not bad, but it's not the best way to actually bolt down a battery. So now we have the modules exposed, and now you can start seeing the differences between our cells, the kilovolt uh, HLX plus cells, and the lead time cells. Uh, not only are they smaller in size, with less capacity, uh, you just start seeing here the construction. We have more thermal sensors and we have more temperature sensors on ours to protect the battery. Uh, not only on the bus bars, but we also have them on the modules themselves, making sure that we're always tracking the temperature of the modules. The lead time battery only has three temperature sensors located on their bus bars. Um, no other temperature sensors on the actual pack uh, to monitor the temperature of the pack. You'll also see here that we have uh, heating pads on ours. Uh, this allows us to actually operate in lower temperatures. So if for some reason this battery does uh, experience low temperature conditions, the heating pads here will uh, activate to bring these, that battery module back up. Lead time, there's no way, it's just um, no heating pads, uh, nothing to actually safely bring that temperature back. So these are some of the features that our HLX Plus batteries offer. Uh, not only reliability, not only, as you saw, better construction on the BMS, uh, not only higher surges, higher discharge rate, but the actual construction of the battery pack, the actual modules, the way everything is bolted down, secured. Um, this makes this a better quality battery than that of the lead time or any similar manufacturers out there in Amazon.